Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Vilma. Today's video is going to be a H&M versus Arquette. I have one piece of each store which are very similar. They're going to be linen trousers. I absolutely love linen. I've spoken about linen so much here on my channel that I thought I would compare two items which are very similar from two sister companies. Because if you're not aware, Arquette, if I'm not mistaken, is owned by H&M and they're under the same umbrella. So a lot of the things that you find in H&M, you can also find in Arquette. But of course, there's several differences. Well, the main one would be the price and of course, the fabric contents on each item. Now, if you are new here to my channel, my name is Vilma. I do one video a week related to fashion and lifestyle beauty here and there. I would absolutely love for you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to leave my handler right here and the link to my platforms down below. So with all that being said, let's get started with this video. So as mentioned, I'm gonna be versing two stores and it's going to be all about their linen trousers in a very, very neutral tone because you guys already know that's what I like. I featured these items previously on hauls that I've done, so make sure to check the info bar below or up here in the I button. I'll make sure to leave any videos that I featured these two pieces on. So we're gonna start with the more affordable option, which is of course H&M. I have these linen blend trousers. They're made of a linen blend with viscose. So 55% is linen and 45% is viscose, which is a really nice fabric for the warmer weather. These are supposed to be high-waisted. They have pleats at the front, two buttons to close here, and then a zipper fly, and at the back, they have two diagonal fake pockets. An elasticated band which allows it to be a little bit more comfortable. Now these are ankle length and as I mentioned they are high-waisted. They retail for £24.99 and I believe they only come in this gorgeous very very light beige. I would even call this like a sand shade. I really love this particular trouser. I like the style because they really cinch in at the waist and I like the fact that they taper at the bottom. They are not a full length as I mentioned that they are ankle length so if you are a little bit taller than me, I'm five foot seven, they may be a little bit more cropped on you rather than ankle length and if you are shorter they're going to be possibly full length which is something that you girls who are petite sometimes struggle with. Trousers are either too long and then you need to tailor. But then again women who are very tall they won't be able to tailor the trousers for them. They just need to compromise whether they want this to be too short or cropped on them. So the inside of the trousers are just like this. There's no panels or full lines on the full lining if that makes any sense. They are a little bit more kind of like flexible and comfortable. They do stretch slightly on the back. I wouldn't say that you can go down a size because they are very cinched in at the waist, but they do give a little bit over here. So in the cutaways, you can see me styling it with another linen piece, which I absolutely love. It's from Mango. So I'll link below something very similar. I'm pretty sure that H&M has a 100% linen shirt, very similar to that one, if that is the look that you're going for. I gave you guys really good close-ups of these trousers because I want you to see the detail.
One thing that I have to say about H&M, a lot of times they don't really pay attention to detail. You'll find, for example, these trousers, I'm picking them up right here. There's lines to sticking out here and at the top, which is something that kind of like reflects the price that you're actually paying. Because if you were paying maybe 50 to 60 pounds, more than likely the trousers would look a little bit more perfect per se, rather than the way that they're looking right now. Another thing that I would like to mention is that the zipper closure always looks slightly open at the top. And it's not because these trousers are small on me because size 12 UK, which is the size that I got, fits me perfectly. But for some reason, the zipper, and I feel like, again, it's one of those things, the attention to detail, it's going to look like that. If you have these trousers below, let me know if you experience the same issue or it's maybe just me that I got a pair that has, I wouldn't say a defect, but they're not perfect looking in this area right here because they're definitely not tight they just fit me really really nicely the feel of the linen on these ones is very soft and airy at the same time it's not a thick type of linen of course it is a linen blend but because I feel like it's mixed with viscose it's not as thick if you're familiar to viscose it's a very light comfortable fabric to wear whereas if this was mixed with cotton more than likely it would have been a little bit thicker but this is perfect for really really warm weather because you want things to just feel natural and airy on the body so these trousers definitely feel like that and the linen content in there is not itchy it's very soft there is a little bit of texture throughout the trouser because linen has a texture feel to it overall i do really like it i feel like these are a must and then for 24 pounds 99 as an entry level to linen in my opinion i think it's a really nice pair of trousers that could add a lot of value to your wardrobe okay so the next trousers are by arquette these ones are made of 100 percent linen they retail for 69 pounds and i got them in size 40 which is equivalent to size 12 uk or 8 us i forgot to mention those sizes before on the back these ones have a full pocket with a flap right here no elasticated band on the front they have concealed buttons and a zip fly and a couple of pleats on each side and as well some belt hoops now these ones are straight leg and they have a more relaxed feel but they're supposed to be high-waisted as well i find that the cut of these is more masculine although high-waisted rather than a feminine type of look of course you can style it in different ways but i feel these ones are a little bit more versatile because i can add a belt because of the concealed button now looking at these trousers from afar they're very similar to the h&m ones the linen of these trousers feels thick and it's not even comparable to the h&m 100 linen shirt that i brag all the time or i just talk about it so much that shirt is a little bit thinner and i feel like it's suitable or appropriate for the shirt and these ones are very very like the thickness is appropriate for the trousers if that makes any sense they're not see-through all that much but i still find that with linen especially this type of shade you definitely need to wear appropriate underwear whereas for example if it was a darker color you could possibly get away with different colors but with these not even white will go you need to wear a nude or skin tone type of shade and that goes for the H&M trousers as well now the details on this one are amazing they're really they really really took care of the details and paid attention to it they have a let me try and open them so I can show you guys a little bit they have two buttons on the inside and a zip fly as I mentioned and then they have this lining over here which makes the trousers look and feel a lot more structured the zip fly on these ones stays completely closed as it is there's nothing kind of like trying to jump out or anything they just fit really really nicely now I personally prefer masculine high-waisted trousers 
because they're a little bit more versatile in the sense that if I want to add a belt, it looks really good. Whereas the H&M ones are a little bit more feminine, more classic looking, maybe not classic, but more feminine. They have more of a uh, feminine silhouette. And then with the button, I don't think that a belt would look all that good. I've not tried it. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe in the future I will, but I think these ones would look better with a belt. So on these ones, I don't really fault them anywhere. I feel like they did a great, great job in doing these and Arquette does amazing, amazing pieces. If you've not shopped in there, you must. And I know in the US and Canada, they don't have shops and they don't ship abroad either, or maybe they do, but it's really expensive. Um, but if you have the chance to pop into an Arquette shop, you will not regret it. Everything that they sell is top quality for the price that you pay. And for the high street, I find that Arquette is kind of like a higher end in the high street, if that makes sense. If I had to choose between the two of these, I would go for the Arquette ones just because I feel like they would suit my lifestyle a lot more. But that doesn't mean that I don't like these ones. I actually really, really love them and I could possibly wear them in several different ways. Whereas these ones, I can wear it with anything I have in my wardrobe because like I said, they're just a little bit more versatile in my lifestyle. And I feel like these ones feel a lot better on the skin. They look better everything about them is just like a plus 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 whereas these ones they do have a few downsides to them but i still like them i also feel like the price point of these is perfect for those of us who are on a budget or we just don't want to spend too much money on clothing and these ones i would say if you're looking to buy investment pieces for your wardrobe then definitely go for the arquette ones so we've reached at the end of this versus video i do hope that you you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you want to see a future series on these where i compare as i mentioned at the start of the video also make sure to give this video a good thumbs up because it helps my channel reach out a lot more people and grow thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on my next video bye